You can make quick and accurate measurements from the comfort of your own desk using the many analytic tools available in Connect Explorer. This video will cover the following tools. Height, vertical area, circle area, location, elevation, ground slope, and bearing. It is recommended that you first watch the video entitled Introduction to Measurement Tools, Distance and Area to understand the basics of measuring. To access the measurement tools, click on the Measure Annotate icon in the upper right corner of the screen, represented by a wrench and screwdriver. With pictometry imagery, you are able to calculate the height of a feature. As previously recommended, be sure to orient the image to get the best view possible for what you are trying to measure. In this case, use an oblique perspective. To begin, select the height tool from the buttons on the right. Then, click at the base of the feature, and then click again at the top of the feature. The height value appears on your screen. Another tool that utilizes height value is vertical area, located next to the height tool. This tool allows you to measure the area of a vertical plane, or in other words, the facade. To use this tool, you will make three mouse clicks. One click at the base of the feature, one at the vertical limit of that feature, and a third click at the horizontal limit of the feature so that the colored fill covers the intended area. This tool can be used to measure the area of a wall, door, window, street sign, or billboard, to name a few. Connect Explorer gives you the ability to calculate the area of a perfect circle by using the Circle Area tool, located on the second row of measurement tools. First, make a single click on the imagery to mark the center point of your circle. Click again to mark the outside edge. Note that if you are viewing your imagery in an oblique perspective, the circle might appear as an oval. To view a perfect circle, switch to an orthogonal view. The resulting measurement bubble not only tells you the circle's area, but also the perimeter distance and radius. By using the Select tool and making a single click on the circle, you can resize it by typing in the desired radius, Click and drag the small orange circle on the outer edge of the circle to manually resize it. Or you can click and drag the crosshair to reposition the entire annotation. As with all edits, make a single click on the image pane outside the annotation to complete your changes. There are two measurement tools in this list that require only a single click in the image pane to obtain a value. The first is a location tool located in the top row. The location tool allows you to see the latitude and longitude coordinates for any location that you click on. The default unit is decimal degrees, but you can change the units in the location tool options in the bottom right corner of your screen. The other single click tool is the elevation tool located in the middle of the second row. By clicking on the image pane with this tool, you get the elevation or height above sea level of any location. This value is a ground level measurement and does not take into account the height of the buildings. All elevation measurements are based on elevation data that is embedded within the imagery. Another valuable tool is the ground slope tool. This will measure the difference in elevation between two points. Click the Ground Slope tool on the right-hand side of your screen. Then click on the image pane at your starting point, move your mouse, and click again to end the measurement. You will see three values. The ground slope, shown as a percentage grade. The absolute elevation difference from point A to point B. And the total horizontal distance between the two points. Note that the ground slope and elevation difference will appear as a negative value when measuring a downhill slope. You can use the bearing tool to calculate two different measurements. 
First, you can find bearing relative to true north. Before measuring bearing, make sure you note what direction the image is facing as bearing is measured from true north. North will start at zero degrees, east at 90 degrees, south at 180 degrees, west at 270 degrees, and finishing at 360 degrees north. For example, to determine the bearing of a street, select the bearing tool and click on the starting point. Then, move the mouse to the endpoint and double click. The bearing appears on the screen. You can also measure an angle using the bearing tool. In this example, we will determine the angle of the intersection of a railroad track and a street. Find the vertex of the angle you want to measure and click. Move the mouse in a line along the first edge or ray of the angle. Click on a point along that edge to create a line. Finally, move the mouse to establish the other ray of the angle and click to finish your measurement. Remember, at any time, you can add any of these tools to your customized toolbar by clicking the three dots along the top of your interface and then selecting which tools you wish to have access to.